in this video, we are going to talk about how to use Solid Edge 2020 assembly module to put parts together, as you can see on this drawing. So this is the pin assembly, the pin brushing and circuit. Okay, let's start the Solid Edge. After start Solid Edge, you go to new, click, you go to GB metric assembly, click. Then you are in the assembly environment. If you see the reference applying, you can start to work from there. Otherwise, you can check this checkbox, get reference plane pairs. The next is go to the part library. Here, you need to have a assignment or other folder where you have these uh, files. So you can use this drop down menu to find the files. The first file we're going to bring in is pin. Okay, you can double click it. It's there. Then we need to put the second file is brushing. You can double click or drag it. So we have the files here. Now we need to move to here. Relationship types. Click. We have a set of relationships. We use X or alignment. And then we move to the surface of the brushing and click. Then we move to the surface of the pin and click. So they are now aligned to each other. You can see here. Right. But we need to actually move this brushing to the right position on the pin. To do that, we go for plane align and move to the end of the surface, and click, select that surface, and then go to the surface of the pin and select it. You can see they're aligned. But even they're aligned, the, the brushing is not right position. To do that, you need to click on select, uh, click on brushing, click on this region shape, which is a fine align region shape. Okay, then you can put a offset value here, which is nine in this case. Once you've done that, you just click on the screen, you'll see the brushing is right in the middle. The next is to put the circle, which is pretty much similar as we had before. You find the circle, okay, uh, double click is in there. We use the X alignment first as well, and move to outside of the so I click, click, then move to the, the pin and outside click. Right, they are now aligned to each other. Same as before, we need to move this one to there. This time we're going to use a command called mate. Mate. Then we select the surface here, either surface, okay? Then we're going to select the surface area here. Click, see it says in the pin, right? Then we can do the same for the second circle. And use the X align. Okay, click, go to the pin, click. Then we can use mate to make this surface. Turn it around. 
right okay click you can see the pin of the, the uh the circle says in the pin this is the end of the